Understanding, put on the gloves, a guide for English learners. Hello everyone, and welcome to our English language learning series. Today, we're diving into an interesting English phrase, put on the gloves. This phrase can be a bit puzzling, especially for learners of English, but don't worry, by the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of what it means and how to use it in conversation. Let's start with the basics. The phrase, put on the gloves, literally means to place a pair of gloves onto your hands. Gloves are a type of handwear that cover the whole hand and are often used for protection or warmth. This literal use of the phrase is straightforward and is often associated with activities that require hand protection, like gardening, boxing, or cold weather. Interestingly, put on the gloves can also have a figurative meaning. In a metaphorical sense, it means to prepare for a challenge or to get ready for a difficult task. This usage is derived from the idea of a boxer putting on gloves before a match, symbolizing readiness to face an opponent. When you hear someone say they're putting on the gloves, it might mean they are gearing up for a tough situation. Whether it's a challenging project at work, a difficult conversation, or any situation that requires extra effort and resilience. To help you better understand, let's look at some examples. 1. Literal use, it's freezing outside. Don't forget to put on your gloves before you go. 2. Figurative use, the negotiations with the other company are getting serious. It's time to put on the gloves and defend our interests. Notice how the context determines whether the phrase is used literally or figuratively. When using the phrase, be mindful of the context to avoid confusion. Remember, if the situation doesn't logically involve actual gloves, it's likely that the phrase is being used figuratively. Also, don't confuse it with throw in the towel, which means to give up quite the opposite of put on the gloves. And that's a wrap on put on the gloves. Whether it's preparing for a winter day or gearing up for a challenge, this phrase is quite versatile in English. We hope this video helps you feel more confident in understanding and using it. Keep practicing, and remember, every new phrase you learn is a step forward in your English language journey. See you in the next video.